Saw dudes, welcome back to another video of Tristiano's stuff. And today, we're going to be talking about the letter Ash. Um, so, um, I don't know if y'all know the song where it goes, And I said, hey, 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 hey. I'm not going to continue singing because, uh, I'm under the impression that I'm not very good at that, but I'm assuming everyone knows that song. Um, and for those that do, for those that do, that's what Ash is, not the and I said part. So the ed, the e eh in ed, you could argue, sorry, in said, you could argue could be Ash, but the a, 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 a part, most definitely using Ash, though we would spell it a y or e y um and that's just like english is annoying because they just get rid of these fun letters but anyway by the way fun letters and appreciate the map states that probably should have actually their name you know i didn't prepare for that so we're not going to do it um maybe we could do like an a arizona florida Louisiana, Georgia, I don't know, Mississippi, Tennessee, Oklahoma, uh, Nebraska, Maine, May, May, oh yeah, Maine, that's a good one, Maine, you know what I mean? Um, so, I think that's it, though, we're just gonna say Maine, and leave it at that, um, but yes, Ash, it is a letter. It used to be in the English. It's now, to my knowledge, just in Icelandic, maybe Faroese. A lot of the time, if you have it in Icelandic, which is my favorite one to cite, it's going to be in Faroese. I'm not totally sure if Ash is an example of that, but I think it is. Um, but let's talk about the spelling, because this is a fun etymolo etymological thing that I found out recently, thanks to a YouTube channel called Rob Words. So thank you, Rob Words. It's kind of a funny name, by the way. It's like, how do you steal words? No, but his name is Rob, and he talks about words. Um, but anyways, he was talking about the Old Norse influence in English, shocker, right? And they still use Ash, but that's not exactly what it was. The spelling of Ash is Ash, S-C, right? Ash looks like the A-E combined. I'm sure most people have, like, heard of or seen the A-E combined, right? Um... But Ash is that, right? And it was spelled Ash, S-C. So, um, you're like, well, how does S-C give us the sh sound? Well, probably wasn't pronounced that way in Old English or even Middle English. But in Modern English, it is pronounced that way because of an interesting thing, um, that happens with some other words. Um, for example, the word shirt used to be spelled spelled S C, and then some weird stuff because uh, they didn't know how to spell. That's a joke. They did. They spelled things differently. We changed our spelling a bit, right? Um, and we changed that to an H. So there's even more evidence that we changed our spelling a bit, right? But the word skirt comes from the Old Norse of word that's very similar to both the old English, um, where we got shirt, but it kept the SK, all right? It had a K instead of a C, and it kept the SK, and it's also something that we get from Old Norse, which is very interesting. Um, and the word shorts, all right? Another word that we kind of get from that same root, um, all right? And they all meant short garments of clothing, so... Shocker that that makes sense. I mean, the shirt's one that makes the least sense with, but skirt and shorts makes sense. Um, it's literally in the name shorts. Anyways, um, yeah, Ash is S-C, all right? But the reason that it probably didn't change, or the probable reason that it didn't change the S-H, but the pronunciation did, is because we don't use Ash anymore, all right? So why would we have to update the spelling on it if it's not something that is used? So the archaic spelling is still what is used. There's no new or spelling, right? Because it's an archaic, useless word, essentially. Unfortunate reality for Ash there. But I mean, I support changing that, probably. I like Ash. Cool letter. Definitely a candidate for our 35-letter alphabet. 
um, so that ampersand can be added as a letter instead of just replacing and. Um, also to Apple and Samsung, I personally believe that they should create a um, customizable keyboard. So you can just say, you know what? I want to add ash and thorn and a letter that we'll talk about next episode most likely and nz and N Y and another letter that we'll talk about in a future episode and anything from vietnamese and uh, i don't know if i said thorn but thorn and edth and win like we talked about last episode and you know some other letters that we'll talk about in the future and ampersand of course to the actual keyboard and my mother said if they end up doing that i asked her what would she do and she said she would add um, two emojis, right? They have to do with her husband, so I'm not going to go into depth about those. Don't worry, they're not actually that bad. They're kind of wholesome, but um, still not going to talk about it. But anyways, yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, if you liked the video, please comment down below uh, what you liked about it. Um, if you have things to improve it, tell me. If you have any recommendations for future videos, tell me. And also, I have a question for everybody. Do y'all think I should turn the light down? Because you can see, like, it's relatively bright, and some people have said that my face looks like all oily and greasy and whatever. Um, and, well, that has something to do with the stuff I do prior to filming. It's, uh, like, has to do with my post-shower skincare routine, I imagine. Um, I'm sure dimming the light would help a little bit. Um, maybe not. But if y'all think that it would, and y'all would like to have that happen, then I can do it. So tell me below in the comments. Like the video, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, turn on post notifications. Send the link, man. Just send this link everywhere that you can, because I need subs. Only real with y'all. Um, and also, the video that I made, the, apolo the apology video, uh, they accepted my apology, so. Wow. Anyways, yeah, thank you, and goodbye.